Once at Anna's place, you both go to work. Later that day, you decide to get a round of drinks for the two of you since you're helping out after all. <laughs> I begin drinking with Anna. That's a cool name way to spell that, by the way. Anna. Two blue mermaids coming up, you say. You sure you should be drinking? You know how quickly you go back to work, Anna replies. I laugh. I'm fine. A few hundred drinks wouldn't hurt me anyway. True. You both laugh and drink. How about that you have gotten along with the women? Here's to us, Anna says, raising her mug. I raise my mug in turn. Here's to booze, I say, and clack my mug to hers. The two of you drink, though Anna's down most of hers quicker than you do. Ah, oh, fuck, that hit the spot, she says with a sigh of contentment. Let's see where this goes. I mean, I've got the ghost bitch waiting at me, waiting for me at home, cooking me dinner. But I shit back. I'm cutting it a bit too fine as usual. Tell me everything that happened while I was off. I imagine you encountered some sort of trouble, given the state of your place. Was it a big fight? Did some little goblin kid steal a bunch of your shit? Be it as be as detailed as you can. You laugh. I respond. Well. Looks like I have a ghost maid living at my house who died protecting me from herself. It's confusing, I know. Oh, and I have, I can't spell this, amnesia? I guess I say laughing. Ghost, wait, you don't think she's actually dead, do you? You laugh louder. Of course she's fucking dead. She protected me with when some huge demon punched me in the balls. What the fuck? I don't know. It's been a weird day, which this is actually sounding like me. I don't know about the ball part, but the rest of this... It's like taking my mannerisms and I think it's making my character... I'm... So far, this is great. Anna stares at you. I'm just gonna see what it says. You don't seem... You don't seem convinced, you, you say. I'm convinced. I just... You're a bit defensive about her being a ghost. You know, you can't really trust them, right? Respond raising a brow trust what you know ghosts you can't trust them you laugh again and wince at the pain it brings on what harm could a made ghost do other than burn my curry I mean <laughs> I'm a dumb peasant, so Anna gulps a bit. Um, well, they're said to steal life energy. You laugh out loud again. How the hell do they do that? I'm kind of regretting asking this. By, well, taking resonance in a living being. Oh, well. I laugh. Well, if she's going to do that, then she better get used to drinking. Wait, wait. So you're saying she's been stealing my life? Yeah. The last time I saw you, your face was... I don't want to think about that. Nah, you're full of shit. I think she's just a friendly ghost chick that wants... To cook for me and live in my house as a ghost. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. 
Well, if you're sure. You finish your drink and stand. Holding on to the wall for support, I am drunk. I'll be back. You head to the kitchen. Let's see what happens. You alive in there? No response. Alright then. See you later, love. Who am I talking to? Once in the bedroom, you begin pulling, putting your clothes back on. When was my clothes off? When did I... What? As you bend over to put shit in your shoe... <laughs> what? You look up and see Carla. She looks at you for what feels like forever, before finally bowing her head. I'm here to help. With, with what exactly? She doesn't want to right away, but she walks over to you and touches your chest. You feel an instant calming feel, what, feeling washing over you. With beating the fuck out of that guy! <laughs> what guy? What guy? What guy? Why? Are we being so violent all of a sudden? She grabs your hand and brings it to your head. This guy. You're confused for a moment and you feel the deep gash in your hand begin to heal itself. What gash? When did I cut myself? Game! You're confusing the ever-living fuck out of me! Every time I'm with fucking Carla, shit gets weird! I'm so confused. I don't have time to explain. I need your help to beat the shit out of this asshole, because if I can't get him here, then no one will. Who is he? The guy that, you know, you nod slowly, feeling a little lightheaded from her earlier blows. What did you what she didn't she just touched my chest. No one hurt me. When did I get a gash? What why did I heal all of a sudden? What just happened? This game What did he do to you? B Tell me in detail. I am curious, like did he beat her? Did what did Did he poop on her grandma? He didn't do shit. Then why? Because he's fucking psycho. He's a fucking psycho that needs to be stopped. So you're going to just let him do this again? What? What? How? Oh, God. That's it. I'm moving out of this house. Shred your hand. No, you're not. Listen to me. You're not going to let this ruin your life. No! No! You're ruining my life! Because every fucking time I talk to you, shit gets strange. I just had a great drink with Anna, and now you want me to hurt some dude I don't even know. He knows you. He knows what you look like. He knows where you work. He even knows what you look like under clothes. Uh, you stop walking and stare at her. <laughs> um, what? The fuck are you on about? She sighs and runs her hand over your face. I'm on about the fact that he hasn't been fucking that he has been fucking spying on you and your friends for years. Why would he do that? And who the fuck is he? He's a fucking priest. Oh, Jesus. You stop in your tracks. There's a priest watching me? Why the fuck didn't you tell me? This is a good question. I want to know. Because he's a priest of... I can't pronounce it. Nit nitrous? Nitrous? That's why. Dornans aren't exactly known for spying on people, let alone the faith. I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure that 
if he'd been watching you, he'd have known long before now that you weren't what you seemed. What am I? Is she gonna change my backstory again? Well, you're obviously not human. So what am I? She pauses for a moment, collecting her thoughts. This is an interesting story. It's fucking batshit crazy. I don't know. A god, maybe? You laugh. A god? No way. I'm not even a proper deity. Just some mortal with a lot of power. What? Um, I didn't not even know I was anything other than a peasant. This is news to me. I'm, I'm going against what the game's doing, but this is my character, fucker. Well, obviously a god wouldn't tell you. I doubt you'd trust him to give you something so powerful and then have him not use it. So what are you then? She laughs. A god doesn't know what they are until they've done everything except the most important thing. That will be my job to figure out. You stop walking and stare at her. So, if I'm a god, can I just snap my fingers and make the priest vanish? She laughs again. I, I, I'm calling bullshit on this one. I think this... No, actually, you can't just snap your fingers and make that sh make shit vanish. At least not without some sort... Some effect on your part. What do you mean? Me? I'm a portal. I take mortal flesh and turn it into energy so I can survive. So, am I a god too then? No, pretty sure you're not a mortal. I don't I don't understand. She said I was a god, now she says I'm not a god or I I'm I'm not what? Huh? What? Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna try this. I snap my fingers to make the priest vanish. Nothing happens. Oh, you're solid enough for a god. So how do I become a god then? Ah. Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I just want to go on an adventure. I didn't even know I was a god. I'm so confused again. Well, you're a god, all right, but not the type that wants to go on an adventure. <laughs> The type that wants to do horrible things and see the world burn. Am I, th am I the bad guy in this story? Is that why the demon was laughing and telling me all this shit?